It is day two of deliberations in the murder trial of former ice cream truck driver Michael Keatley. It is a case that we have been following for 12 years now. And we were there when Michael Keatley walked into the courtroom this morning. Prosecutors say Keatley shot six people outside of a house in Ruskin on Thanksgiving Day 2010, killing two brothers. He has been in jail ever since, and he's maintained his innocence. For the past three weeks, the jury's heard testimony, including that from a doctor last week who testified that Keatley was it was physically impossible for him to pull the trigger. 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford has been at the courthouse all day long. Joining us now with the latest and Liz, any word from the jury room? You know, Courtney, it's been very quiet all day long. The jury got here this morning at 830. They did ask to reread some testimony early on, but then after that quiet, I mean, they truly for eight hours, we didn't hear anything. They are actually done for the day. So they are going to be back here tomorrow morning. Now, I do want to give you a little bit of background because this whole case dates back to 2010. People knew Michael Keatley for selling ice cream in his truck months before the Thanksgiving Day murders. Investigators say someone shot and robbed Keatley while he was in his ice cream truck stealing just $12. Prosecutors say he then became obsessed with getting revenge and ended up killing the wrong people. Now the defense argues injuries to Keatley's hand from the robbery would have made it impossible for him to fire a gun. They also criticize the handling of the investigation, but prosecutors say Keatley was indeed able to fire that gun and killed the Guitron brothers. Now, right now, again, deliberations have wrapped for the day. The jury was dismissed. They will be back here tomorrow morning at 830. In Tampa, Liz Crawford, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, Liz, thank you.